Hello, welcome everybody to the Die Castle. So today I'm going to be doing a part two review for you guys and we are going to be taking a look at three very cool uh, customs that I did. So this is a part two video of the uh, Megalodon case. Come on up, sir. Uh-oh, spoiler alert. Okay, can you tell everybody, hey, sir. All right. All right, guys, let's give uh, Kinky Cakey here a couple of treats. You want some treats, Bo Peeps? I think Kakeroo does want some treats. Let's give him a uh, couple of treats right here, guys, on that mirror. <clears throat> All right, so anyway, like I was saying, this is a part two of video for you guys of three very cool customs that I made. And um, I said I was going to go get the little testers uh, paint, the little tiny jars. Those actually work really good. But I seen this uh, painter's pen at Walmart, and I thought I would give this a try. So this has a medium tip. They also have one that has a fine tip. Uh, but these actually work pretty Let's see if we can get this thing to focus here These actually work pretty good So you kind of just press in the tip and it applies the paint and you can kind of go in and um, Paint whichever you like Now these are let's see what it says here on the side um, Marker 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 just says marker, but these are actually real high quality uh, acrylic paint I was trying to show you guys where it said that. So anyway, it is acrylic paint. They'll run you about $250. They have them at Walmart, and I think they have like a 10-pack of these or something like that for like 20 bucks. So if you wanted to get uh, different colors and things. So very cool. So all we did with the trucks is take them apart with this Phillips uh, screwdriver, and then I went in and I painted some details with this. Now... I have a third custom for you guys that I actually took apart, painted piece by piece, uh, let it dry, and, reass and reassembled it. All right, guys, so we're about to get into this video. Let me take Cakey Cakey down so we got some room, and we'll be right back with you, fam. Cakes, tell everybody goodbye, sir. Cakes, tell everybody goodbye, sir. He's still looking for treats. All right, family, we'll be right back. All right, Die Castle friends, we are back. So anyway, before I get into these three customs, I was over at O'Reilly's getting a couple of car parts uh, for my son. We had to pick up a few things, some spark plugs, mass airflow sensors, some O2 sensors. Uh, I was kind of running rich and, uh, and we had a little problem. And then I seen this thing uh, hanging on the shelf. Now this is the Race Ace 2. So I thought I would start this video off by doing a little single uh, unboxing for you guys. Very cool stuff in this wave. I thought the gold one was very neat. Let's open it up and uh, check it out real quick. This is a little bonus footage, but we're gonna do the bonus footage at the beginning because I also have the third uh, custom truck that I did for you guys also as a, a little piece of bonus uh, footage. All right, let's take a look at this bad boy. So anyway, right off the bat, you can see that it has black wheels, gold frame, gold tires, and it has this um, black chassis in the back here. That roll frame in gold looks really good. Look at all the details in this thing that they have done in gold on top of that black with that red. Absolutely amazing stuff. Now, I don't think that this is a chase piece. I could be wrong. It may be the chase piece from this case, but I don't I don't think so. Doesn't, doesn't win Hot Wheels do the chase piece they don't they don't show the chase piece on the back of the car do they i that, i think so and and it shows this car here so this may not be a chase piece but it is definitely uh cool enough to be a chase piece look at the top of that truck man race ace awesome awesome livery awesome uh hot wheels livery race ace design on this truck a little look at the back of this thing super uh, excellent super cool model all right we're gonna set him there and uh, we're gonna get right into these three custom trucks like I promise you guys all right family we'll be right back I'm gonna set up shop all right friends so here we are we are back and the first custom 
that I have done for you guys. It was a simple one, but it absolutely turned out amazing. And I'm going to tell you everything that we had done to this truck. So first thing that we did is we stole the blue and the blue here off of the uh, Megalodon Shark. And we switched out the, the wheels, the tires, and the chassis and the frame here. And we put it on top of our Luca Stabilizer truck. Now, I thought the blue with the white with the blue and the red would look super killer. But it was just missing. It was missing something. So, I went in here and I painted all of the shock details in there. Oh, you can see a little uh, spot on that shock where I kind of scuffed it up a little bit. You know that? That kind of gives me an opportunity maybe to use the, my little paint marker here. And let's see if I can uh, touch that up. So I'm going to have to look at that off screen. Because actually I painted this while it was... I painted this thing while it was um, a, a part. Show you guys kind of how easy that is to do. So anyway, I touched that up. See there? I hit the little shock piece. And now the, these markers actually dry uh, very quick. So, which is really good. So, they, they actually are dry almost within like five minutes. And then you can go back in here and almost already touch them. So, here I got the, uh, the like I said, the headers painted, the shocks. I did the little torsion uh, bar there for the uh, third shocks. Look at all the shocks on this thing. I didn't realize even how many shocks this thing has. It's got one, two, three, four, two with springs. Looks like we got two uh, oil or air shocks. Very cool here another shock down here on the bottom so what's that a total of like five different shot well no i think that other one's the torsion bar or the sway bar there so this thing has four shocks too long and too short and then i also came in here and i painted the front shocks on the on the front and i also painted a little torsion uh sway bar i didn't do any detail on the bottom because i thought that the gray chassis looked really good with the gray of the tank and um like the exhaust stacks here and, and then I did the exact same thing on the other side. So I kind of tried to match this with the theme of the uh, red, white, and blue all the way through. Very cool truck. All right, family. So now the uh, moment you've been waiting for this video is on the Megalodon uh, shark attack. Let's roll him out here, guys. All right, let's take a little look at this guy, fam. I put a lot of work in this thing. I hope that you like it. I think that this truck turned out absolutely amazing. So anyway, here is what I did. I stole the wheels and the blue frame and the red frame off of the Lucas oil stabilizer because I wanted the blue to go with the blue of the body and I wanted the red because this is my Megalodon Shark Attack Custom. And I think that it turned out killer. So I came in here and I tried to paint the BKT on the tires. I wanted the white because I wanted to really be able to see that contrast of the red on the wheel. So I gave it like a red uh, beadlock on every wheel. Tried to paint in the BKT and then I gave it blood splatter all the way around on these tires. These things look really cool too uh, when they spin. So now anyway, on the chassis here, as you can see on the blue, I put a little couple of little uh, blood speckles here. And then now on the teeth, look, I did the uh, I did the blood on the teeth on the fin here. I got it kind of coming from out of the uh, window all the way back up on here onto the shark tail down the fin. Big old splotch down the middle of the spine there. Even little splatters, even did little splatters on the windshield on the front of the the snout of the shark on his eye there and then i painted up the treads now the treads were kind of hard to do uh i actually tried to uh i tried to just kind of mark them in like this but that wasn't working that good so i had to actually put the paint on some newspaper and then i kind of rolled it back and forth but these tires actually do have a little uh convex shape to shape to them so the paint was only getting in the middle so you actually have to take the truck hold it at this angle hold it in the middle then hold it at that angle and roll it to get that paint on the tires like that so let's take a look at the other side of this uh, megalodon shark attack kind of did the same thing i kind of went a little bit wilder here with the blood going down put a little blood on his nostril there more on the fin 
So I kind of tried to switch up the designs on each side as I went down, making it different. I tried to do the little O's in there with the little blood spots on both sides. Very cool stuff. See how I tried to do the inside of the O. I couldn't get it that good because my marker is the medium, is the medium tip. And they do make a fine tip, like I was telling you guys. So this truck, I think, turned out absolutely amazing. Killer stuff. You guys let me know what you think about my Megalodon custom uh, shark attack. All right, let's set him off here in the background. And I'll be right back with you, fam. I'm going to go grab the third uh, custom that I've done uh, for this video, video. And we will be right back with you. Okay, friends, here we are. So now the last truck that I did in a custom, which I actually took apart and painted each piece individually, is this Battle Armor Batmobile. And I think this thing turned out absolutely ballistic. So as you can see, I kind of did this primer finish on the roll frame, and I came back and I added light accents of gold on the shocks, on the headers, and on the shocks and on the headers on the uh, front of this vehicle also. Now I came in with the black paint. I did kind of the inside of the wheel, not a lot. I wanted the wheels to kind of look like they were all beat up and dirty. And I also gave them that kind of goldish uh, beadlock looking color. I left the yellow down there in the bottom to kind of give it this thing just a little kind of hint of color. And then on the inside of the wheel, um, I just kind of left it alone now because I kind of I kind of thought it looked kind of cool when you look in there and you just see that little hint of yellow reminding you that this thing is a Batmobile. So very awesome stuff. Now I came in here and I took the wings off in this top skull piece. Man, this thing almost looks like a battering ram. This thing turned out killer. I painted black on the inside of these little air uh, intake scoops. I did black on the tips here, and then I went around with the gold. All right, I took the windshield out, painted the windshield gold, kind of did the little rivets in gold here, all the little curves and angles I did in that lighter gold too, trying to tie and bring this thing all together. Put a little bronze there in the back. Very super killer stuff. Now, like I said, I could have did uh, black wheels or something with BKT, but I really wanted to black this thing out. And as you can see on the drive shafts here, I added a little bit of that gold accent too. Man, you guys let me know what you think about these uh, custom Monster Jam and um, die cast. Let me know down in the comments which one was your favorite. If you like this video or if you would like me to do more custom die cast and reviews. Uh, for you. Let's see if I can get these things all in the screen here. Man, wow, very killer stuff. I think that all three of these customs turned out absolutely killer. Let's take one more last look at them, family. We're going to wrap up this video. Man, that Lucas truck turned out really good. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Or do you like the Megalodon shark attack the best? <laughs> I'm really uh, proud of this one, man. You guys might not like it, but I think it's really cool. Very cool truck to have in my collection. And then probably one of my absolute favorite is this Battle Armor Batmobile. All right, guys, I appreciate you watching this video. This is Brian with the Diecast, and we are signing out. I hope that all you guys had a, an amazing day. Till next time, we hope to see you again here at the Diecast. All right, family, peace. Happy hunting out there.